This is gonna be insane. Just looks so good. If we get in here close, you'll see a lot of the detail stuff in here. We've got a really cool waterfall happening here. You know, another little small one there. I'm up in here because they wanna do a split on this and get waterfall to come over and then come back over in this way. But the challenge is this was so much lower. So I came in here and started stacking some slate foaming things together. And I need to get this part here exactly at the same level as that part there. If it's an inch lower, then of course all the water is gonna come this way. In fact, because I want most of the water to come here, if I was a quarter inch higher on this side, it would reduce the amount of water coming through here. And I really just want this to kind of be more of a bird loving split. Ladies and gentlemen, it is absolutely hot out. That's all Jack keeps saying over and over and what over again. About? He's like I'm a broken record. It's hot out. Nope. No, no kidding. It's really a scorcher out. Dead end of August, and it is hot, 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 hot. But what's going to be even more hot? In a cool way. Yeah, it's hot. Is this waterfall? Yeah, I came back out in the sun. It's a little hot out, guys. Jack needs to go back and take another nap. The real feel is like 99 out today. Uh, it feels it's, like. It, but it's nice out. I went to Arizona for vacation about a month or so back, and it feels like we're in Arizona today, and we're in Illinois. Yeah. What gifts? Well, Jack, how's everything looking? It's looking really good so far. As you can see, we're probably 95% done with set in stone. We have one more rock or two more rocks, excuse me, to set up on the top up here. We have our spillway to still, so let's put our spillway in right now, and then we're gonna put a rock on top of that, and another rock back behind here. Pretty much all the rock inside the liner will be 100% done. Tomorrow we're gonna do a, a little bit of stack slate work all up in here, just to add to that extra 10% for detail. You're gonna uh, channel your inner April? Yeah. Nice. So we're just gonna kind of work our way from where we've been eating lunch out for underneath by the walkout basement. We're just gonna be working our way out, trying to demobilize from the end of today and the rest of tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be out here by tomorrow. So what are you doing over there between where you're standing in the stairs. So right there, you can see Corey, that, there's a retaining wall over on the right side of the stairs. We're gonna kind of carry that over to this side. So it makes it look like the water feature was here and they built the retaining wall be around the water feature. So they tied it all in around us instead of the other way around. It's one of the key pieces that we always try is to make it look like we were here first instead of last. Yeah, so just to give you a rundown, we're gonna have one five to nine pump coming up here and that's sit down in our basin in our 12 block or basin down in the bottom and we have a three inch line coming all the way up the side. It's gonna feed our 22 inch spillway sitting up, up here. We're gonna get a waterfall coming down here. So we're gonna get, we're gonna do stack slate just so it kind of gets a little bit of a sheet side waterfall coming over to this side. So you can see it from, if people walk around this side, you're gonna be able to see it from over there where Dan's at. Then you're gonna have our main waterfall, which you're gonna be able to see from the walkout basement and all the windows from the house. Then we have this spot, it's gonna be pretty cool. This is our mystery falls. So we came in here and we took a piece of two inch flex that's now covered up. Let's see our two inch flex down here we have an elbow coming up down here and we made it just a pooling area so some water will fall down into there and it'll feed this waterfall we call it a mystery falls all in here so we just have a little bit of touch up to do down in there so this middle waterfall is going to have three waterfalls coming down into it and what we like to do our waterfalls is that we like to do a big large frame rock on the left and the right side as you can see we have one large frame rock our second frame rock and then we'll throw our spill stone in the middle of that and that's pretty much going to do is it's going to set our elevation so the water doesn't go up and over our two frame rocks and it goes over our spill stone so it kind of dictates where we want to push that water through so it's going to fall so all three of these falls are going to drop in this pooling area that rock's almost as big as you jack yeah and so we have so it's going to pull in, in this pooling area and we're going to get a nice waterfall coming up here it's going to allow this water to dam up back here and allow this water to pull up on this rock and just make like a weeping wall effect all across this rock and over there it's not going to go over because we have it all foamed up but that rock is slightly higher at that point over there than this point over here so as you continue on we're going to have water come all across this rock it's going to fall into this pooling area and it's going to come across this rock and it's going to drop into our basin and then as you can see in here we have our we like to call it our bib liner so we like to carry that water across our basin and pretty much halfway or three quarters across that basin just so it gives it the illusion of that water carving out between the rock instead of it just falling right into the basin awesome looks great well we're going to get back to work because it like we said it's super hot out and the heat's getting to us so we're going to plug away see ya
everyone, I'm back out here checking out the project. This is a project I really wanted to build completely myself. And it came out here, gave a little bit of direction here and there, but really Corey, Luis, Jack, and Daniel have been running with this. I come out in the morning, point a couple of fingers, play typical foreman, which is freeing up all kinds of time for me to travel, do other projects out of state, and more importantly, get some stuff done back in the office. I've got big, big things I wanna do back at the office, which I'll share with you later, cause they're big. But I wanted to turn this thing around and show you how incredible it looks. I'm a little sweaty cause I'm helping them today, just kind of button things up. We will have this thing running today, but let me show you what they've done so far. This is gonna be insane. Just looks so good. We're tying in the existing wall. You remember that waterfall that was over there? They did a really good job of taking that away, putting in some plants in here, hiding the fact that there used to be a waterfall there. We're gonna end up digging this out later and getting a tree in there to even soften that up some more. Trying to tie in right now the old outcropping stones with the stairs and then back into our water feature. But if we get in here close, you'll see a lot of the detail stuff in here. We've got a really cool waterfall happening here. I know they already showed you all that stuff. You know, another little small one there. I'm up in here because they want to do a split on this and get water waterfall to come over coffee waterfalls coffee waterfalls and then come back over in this way but the challenge is this was so much lower so I came in here and started stacking some slate foaming things together and I need to get this part here exactly at the same level as that part there if it's an inch lower then of course all the water is going to come this way in fact because I want most of the water to come here if I was a quarter inch higher on this side it would reduce the amount of water coming through here and I really just want this to kind of be more of a bird loving split. If I can get a little bit of water up onto this rock, it would even be better as it just kind of drips down the face of this. So that's my goal. You can see I'm in here just kind of slowly stacking some slate, created a little bit of a pool right in here. So when it comes off of this, it can drop a little bit better rather than shoot off. The other reason I did that is I want to keep the water level in here lower than the liner is back over in here. And so keeping this down at this level rather than building all this up, we'd have some big problems with water going back over in here even though I have a weep hole. So choking this down, I'm pretty close. You can see I've got some other slate to play around with. We'll get that in there. I get all that foamed back behind everything. You can see this big gap that I've got back in here. So I'll come in here, foam all of this, seal it up really, really good, making sure that all that water comes, pools up, and then comes up and over this. Same back in here. We gotta foam some stuff over in there, and then we'll have this thing done. Uh, Spillway is installed. Most of our water is gonna come off of that. Corey looks like he's really close to finishing things up over in here. Things are looking great. What do you say, Corey boy? I'm uh... You like Corey boy? I saw you, I saw you smile. Is that... Yeah, <laughs> I've been called that for a while now here, so yeah. <laughs> I'm used to it. Yeah, I'm thinking we're definitely gonna get done today at the same time, around three o'clock maybe, but yeah, like you said, just the spill stone we're gonna finish up and just finishing these retaining stones over here and then I think we'll be good to go. Awesome, well, I hope you guys like this one. Yeah. Give Jack, Corey, Daniel, and Luis a big round of applause. I think they killed it. It looks so good, especially from here. So that's a wrap. Another project in the books. One more customer living the aquascape lifestyle. What's so cool about working with Mike and his wife, they just trusted us to do whatever we wanted to do. And I think that came because we built a pond for them before and they just loved the way it turned out. This time though, they actually had a really, really cool slope with and just carving into that slope using that weathered limestone, it just turned out perfect. So rather than me talk about it, let me just come show you because I love it. So obviously it needs some decorations, right? But if it looks good like this, this, just imagine what it's gonna look like with plants just growing all over it. And if you look off in the distance, we can see three robins drinking water already from it up there. But there's a lot of other stuff coming into this backyard. I know there's a big fireplace going in over here. I know there's gonna be a whole new patio going in. I know some of these stairs are getting tweaked, a whole new landscape plan. So we're gonna leave it like this. And I can't wait to come back next year and show you what it looks like with all the bells and whistles all over it. But for now, let's just kind of talk a little bit about the design. So like I said, when you have an existing slope, the idea is to just carve into the hillside. It should always look like the water's eroded away the earth, leaving back behind the stones, it couldn't move. And so the key is, 
to keep the stones to scale with the fall. So if I've got a two foot high waterfall over here, then of course I want a two and a half or three foot high boulder to sit next to it. And you can see just that. So here's my fall, frame rock, waterfall, bigger, taller frame rock. Had to come in with a bigger frame rock over here because we had a lot of earth to hold back on this side. But look at how that just repeats itself with every single waterfall. Frame rock, waterfall, frame rock. Never ever are we stacking a bunch of stones on top of each other. People always ask what's the key to making natural looking waterfalls and it's just that, keep it simple. And then you can start getting creative and do fun things like this. Little secret waterfalls over on the side. So we built a little tributary that comes around this rock sneaks in through this little joint here. And look, it's the exact same thing. Big rock on one side, big rock on the other side, something small in between. Even this one over here. Look at how great that one works with the contours of the rock. If you hike around and look at waterfalls in nature, you see this type of stuff all the time where it looks like water is probably, like maybe during a big flood, maybe during a big ice melt or something, water actually probably runs over this during the rainy season. But right now, with the water level a little bit lower, middle of summer, it kind of it comes down through this area. But same thing, big rock on one side, slightly bigger rock on the other, water moving in between. And we just keep repeating over and over and over again. Working with this weathered limestone is really kind of like cheating because it's so easy. It's not hard to figure out what side's up and what side's down. All the rocks are relatively flat and a lot of them have these natural little high and low areas which makes it really easy with building waterfalls. So this rock is a perfect example of that. I'm hit, sitting on the natural high spot and then look at how it's got this natural low spot right here and that water is just dripping down this I can tell you guaranteed by this time next year when all the landscape and everything else is filled this is gonna be solid moss and that water is just dripping down all those little moss channels and matting and everything else it's gonna look so phenomenal but the other part I really like on this is what the guys did to disguise the spillway it really has this kind of natural spring area where water is just kind of pooling up out of the ground but underneath this rock is our waterfall spillway we're using that 22 inch waterfall spillway we've got this rock sitting on top the spillway is all the way down here right where my the bottom of my hand is so water comes in it's sitting considerably lower than this one pools up you can see how that water is just kind of pooling up right here giving it that natural spring effect before it pulls over and spills over the waterfall there such a better way to put it than putting that spillway right here where it would become more of a focal point and harder to hide I love how they kind of tucked it in off on the right hand side here I can't like I want so badly to come out here and just lay landscape it for them but I know we'd be premature because this is the only access to and from this house. We've got this great lot that overlooks that lake and there's no way to come up that hillside and get into here. So we had to pause where in fact next year when we come back we're adding on to this. So right in here is going to be a bridge that takes them out in the yard and we're going to start that feature all the way back in here really disguising the point of origin. When you can push it all the way to the property line get some strategic plants and stuff it'll look like they designed and built this entire house because they had found a property with a natural spring on it that moved and cut through their property and finished this way. I can't wait to see all that done. This bridge is gonna be amazing. The rest of the yard is gonna be amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoy it as much as I did. I know the guys had a killer time building it. It looks phenomenal. I think we're definitely showing that we might know what we're doing. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think. I don't know what your favorite part is. Tell me what you think of that weathered limestone. Would you want weathered limestone in your own backyard? Do you like the granite boulders that we use? Do you like aqua blues? Do you like the moss rock? Those are really the four types of stone we work with. I love using this stuff because it's easy and fun and it looks great. You tell me what you think. You know what to do guys. Like, comment, subscribe, tell all your friends and maybe we'll do it again next week. Bye.